today in the mail came this box which is a new converter for our WIFCO 8955 converter. Most of these little trailers with 30 amp plug have an 8955 converter. Some of them are auto detect, some of them are not. This one is not an auto detect. It's just a regular lead acid battery converter. So I'm going to take the bottom out of it. This is the bottom portion. This is the bottom portion. And I'm going to put this in and in place. And this is a lithium only one. It doesn't work on lead acid batteries, but I don't imagine I will ever use another lead acid battery. Lithium is the wave of the future and this is going to do the trick. All you gotta do is slide this out and connect up these wires. So that's what we're gonna do. Comes in a really nice box. Um, it's got some instructions, but not very good. It says all over the box to be installed by a professional, but I'll tell you, it's a pretty easy install. Let's do it. First of all, all right, special project for today is we have to change this to lithium. That's my converter, and it's a uh, 30 amp and uh it's got all these breakers in it that i don't think it needs them all but and it's got all these fuses in it which it only uses six of them so um we're gonna change this and i'll tell you for tools you need a good flathead screwdriver you'll probably need a square drive screwdriver but you need a very long square drive screwdriver where's the this is a square drive screwdriver these big bolts and all of these little bolts for the fuses are square drive and while you can get them with a good flat screwdriver you want to get better than that so and you also need a pair of pliers because some of these screws are going to be really tight. This is a big heavy duty 110 screw and they're, they're put on there with a lot of torque. So to get them off, um, you need a pair of pliers and vice grips to grab onto them and really torque them up. So you just unscrew these two screws in the corners and they don't even fall out, they just unscrew. falls out it clicks at the bottom so when you put it back in you put it in the bottom first and then your main power you're going to change this section down here to make it lithium not just lead acid so two screws on the bottom of this and this slides right out it's it's under a little lip in the back so when you push it back in you got to put it under those lips and it's Three wires on this side, a green, a black, and a white. The white is your neutral, your green is your, your ground, and the black goes to a breaker, which is the power for the whole converter. This is really the converter port process. And then you've got off the converter come the power wires that go behind here and connect up here. You've got a white one up here, which is the ground. You've got a red one here, which is uh, your power. And these are marked. And this one way down here is your power, your positive power, which comes actually from the battery. we are got to change this because this tiny little switch right here, you see that? This tiny little switch here <laughs> makes it lead acid to lithium and i gotta switch that so we're going to take out these screws slide this out pull all the wires 
we're going to pull these wires first because they look easiest. Then we're going to switch over all these onto a new board. So, let's get going. Sorry about the extremely lo loud bugs, but first of all, we have to undo the battery. All right, the battery is disconnected. The power to the side of the trailer is disconnected. It's hanging there, but it's not plugged in. So now we can go in and work on the converter. Oh, no fan. <laughs> it's hot and dark in here. All right. This is what we're replacing, this part at the bottom. We got no power on anything. So hopefully we're good. You just undo these two screws. I'm gonna take them right out. Put them up where you don't lose them. Right there, right? And then this just pulls out. This just pulls out. It's just slide in and out. And these are all the wires that are on mine. Red wire, white wire, green, blue, and black. Or green, white, and black. That's all we got over there. And these ones go to the um, fuses. Tip out here. And come out. Make it easy. You just tip out and come out like this. So you can replace wires pretty easy. That's the main black power to the converter that puts the 12 volts out. All the rest of these are going to house wiring. There are two house wire cables coming in the back. Back in there, they go to these ones. This first one comes from the, the shore power line that the power goes in this way and then goes out this way to the wires. But all these screws are square, except for these big ones, which I think they might be both. This pink one goes here, and this white one goes here. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to get those in there. All right, you do have to change out the fuse board to a new fuse board that has a switch on it for lithium or lead acid. And that board just snaps out and then you just have to go through the routine of changing all the wires to the fuses. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt, but it's pretty easy. And because it snaps out, it makes it easier to get these wires connected in. So. Okay, we got the new converter on the board, on the new board, and this little plug here has to go in there, and they don't tell you much about that in the instructions anywhere, but we figured it out. And this one doesn't look too good, but it's pretty tight in there. I may have to push that in farther. Uh, these are in tight. These are good. That one's good. Now we got to hook up the uh, power wires to the main power. And these are pretty easy. This one with the little thing on it goes to the breaker. So we'll put that on the breaker and um, this goes back to the breaker. And the green goes with the with the 
copper grounds and the white goes with all the other whites so no big deal so let's uh we do have to change all of these to here which is gonna be a piss but i mean you just take it off this one put it on this one take it off this one put it on this one just match them up same as way they go no big deal And the power station slides back in there and there's a little thing under there that it goes out goes underneath when it slides in there hopefully you can see that and that's on both sides and you just kind of have to bend these wires around so that this will slide in you can see I don't know can you see that those wires kind of go over the fan and um, they're a little bit in the way and you can see there this is hanging way out here because the wires got pushed um, but wires are wires they just push out of the way you just give them a give them a good yank or push and they'll get out of the way there definitely isn't much room to show you this down here and I can't it's right up against my face, so I can't tell if it's focused or not. Hopefully it is. It's autofocus, but these wires needed to be pushed and prodded and bent and moved all over the place down here. So they're in the way, and these have to be bent way back so they go in. But there's two clips at the top and one clip down at the bottom. And you just have to kind of push and prod and wiggle and it'll eventually all get in there we hooked up the uh, breaker back and slid that back in again that's just a tilt and push it in no big deal we put this on top before it was in the back we didn't it didn't matter what the heck but um we got the new the screws in at the bottom everything's looks good and we flipped the switch to lithium and it does say on the board l i and l a for lithium ion or lead acid so make sure you go if you go to all this work you get it the, on the right one and uh we're done and we we have uh we're gonna transfer the transfer all the fuses over and it's interesting there's only one two three four five six um fuses in here um so it's done it's all done next project